What's going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video here on Pig City Hockey, and today we're going to be talking about one of my favorite Winnipeg Jets of all time in the 2.0 era, that is Nikolai Ehlers, because ever since the end of this season, end of the playoffs, getting eliminated to the Colorado Avalanche, and the exit interview, interview that Ehlers gave, everyone is talking about how he's probably going to be traded. And it's not just a couple people within the Winnipeg Jets fandom, you know, pushing rumors or a couple beat writers in Winnipeg talking about potential trades. This is coming from almost every major publication at this point. All signs point to one of the most consistent players on the Winnipeg Jets, regardless of injuries in Nikolai Ehlers, getting traded. And I, for one, think that this is crazy. This team is trying to win a cup right now, and Ehlers is the exact type of player you want on your team to win a cup. You know, the same thing goes for a lot of, like, this guy was drafted by this fret team, ninth overall. He's a top 10 pick for us, has been around forever, has just recently played over 600 games, and is just has one more year left on a pretty damn affordable contract after he just played a healthy 82 game season. So I don't understand, I don't really get why people are saying we gotta trade Ehlers. Like, you look at Ehlers, and I can see, okay, maybe you can want to trade him and bring something new in, but how many teams are going to be giving up a top six forward that's going to be affordable for one and fit our cap, and second, who is um, going to have term as well? Like, Ehlers has one more year left on his contract. He's not expiring. Like, we still have him for next year, and we're trying to win. Like, I know the dis that the, the, the loss of that first round against Colorado is still fresh. I get that. But I just don't think that trading Ehlers, you know, for a bag of pucks and a draft pick potentially, because I don't know how many other teams are going to give up a legit top six winger. Um, like, I just, I don't know. It just, it just seems impractical to me. Like, and I get why people are saying it because of the contract ending and all this stuff. And I know he's not a playoff performer. I will be the first to admit that 37 career games for us in the playoffs. He's only put up four goals, 14 points, and is a minus nine. And you all know I'm not a big fan of the plus minus. But when you look at his career, I mean, this year alone, he was a plus 27, right? And you look at the career that he's put up alone, the amount of points that he has. I think that it says enough about, you know, what Ehlers brings to a team and his value. And... I, I, I like look. I'm gonna become off as biased in this video without a doubt. I'm an Ehlers fan. I always have been. Ehlers is one of my favorite players since we drafted him. I've always liked Ehlers. He was a killer player for the uh, Moosehead back in junior. Like he is a good player and always has been. And he's been very good for this team, regardless of the injury problems that he's battled in his career. He's always come out and and battled and played his best, he, the best that he can play, regardless of the injuries that he suffered. He reminds me a lot of Brian Little, you know, a quiet guy out there um, who has been on this team for a long time. Like he he is without a doubt like similar to Brian Little in those in some regards with that. And you know, I, I really think he's fit in well with a lot of the guys on this team. And again, I know that the playoff loss is fresh, and I want this team to shake some things up too. But when you look at the forward core that they already have have i just don't think it makes sense to trade ehlers even with the prospects coming up like ehlers if you're trying to win a stanley cup still moving on from ehlers isn't necessarily the best bet like you don't have to, you don't have to rush into any situation like trading him now before the draft unless there are some top tier players available or you're getting like a mitch marner or something like that i'm not saying one for one but you got to bring something back to this club that is going to immediately help you win now similar to what you did with the P pld swap you're bringing in velarde i follow and even kapari like that trade was huge for us but i don't think a lot of other teams are going to be making a trade for that, especially of a guy like Ehlers. Like, it just, I don't see it happening. He's not going to fetch an elite defenseman. He's not going to fetch some guy that's going to immediately fix our defensive problems, especially if Neil Pionk is dressed in a Jets uniform next year, because regardless of what we do on the defensive end to improve, if he's still there, we're not going to improve that much, but let's be real. Like, he's a huge anchor back there and just slows down this club, and Ehlers is not going to be that trade piece to bring in a number one defenseman and fix all those problems back there, and I know a lot of people are saying as well that the Moose have you know, Brad, the fact that you've got incredible rookie years from Brad Lambert and Nikita Chibrikov, right? Like, I, I, I get that. I am fully behind that. I'm going to have a video about those guys and how I think they're both going to make the team coming out in a couple of days. But, you know, these rumors are just starting to grow and grow and grow. And there's so many people are like, oh, you got to trade Ehlers. You know, look at Ehlers as the top trade bait. But what is he going to get that's really going to make this team better? You've got two amazing forward prospects that could potentially joining the mix next year. Keeping Ehlers only adds more skill and offense to a forward core that needs speed. Ehlers is big biggest problem as with his line mates isn't chemistry it's speed Ehlers has to bring his game and slow it down because his line mates can't keep up with him that's why there's offsides that's why there's so many dump plays around the boards Ehlers flies in and there's no one you know ready to really make a play with him up there if you introduce some young forwards onto his a line with him like a Brad Lambert or something like that like you had with Patrick Line back in the day and even then Line wasn't that fast either at times like things could get better for him like these guys both won rookies of the year you look at the points they had 47 points for Chibrikov 55 points for Brad Lambert like, 
And they're not to mention both registering points in their first career NHL games at the end of the year against the Canucks. Like, Chevy really finds himself in a weird spot because I know that this team needs to improve. I can see areas of the ice where they were weak against Colorado and how this team lacks some elements that can really push them deep in the playoffs. We, we've seen that now. You know, teams can find regular season success and have that weakness in the playoffs. You look at the Maple Leafs, save a team prime for examples like that. They have weaknesses in the regular season, but because of the all-star power, they're able to get into the playoffs, usually in a pretty good position, but they're just not able to, you know, finally get over that hump ever. And the Jets are starting to find themselves in that trend. Last year, a bad team losing in five. This year, a good team losing in five. Next year, they look to be a team with a lot of guys from this year still signed look to be a good team again, you know, what will happen? They need to make the right adjustments, but I don't think Ehlers is the guy that you look at to really bring in these massive trades for you. I just don't think that's the guy that's going to fix this team if you move him out. Like, even, you know, if you create that roster spot for a Chibrikov or a Brad Lammer next year, I get that, but... You know, there are other forwards on this team that need to be shipped out that were a lot more negative, in my opinion, than anything Ehlers is. And I know Ehlers wasn't negative. He had a great year. But, you know, when you take a guy out of your top six, you have to be putting something in that's going to be just as effective. And I don't know how many other teams out there are going to be really looking at trading you know, one for one, or even like, you know, guys that are of Ehlers level, like we need to keep Ehlers and try to win with him while he's still under contract, you know, if the Jets were in a shit spot, you know, yeah, move on from Ehlers, I get trading him, especially if he doesn't want to re-sign, but the Jets are, the, the Jets are, are one point back of winning the Central Division, the Jets had a very disappointing first round exit, like they had a good season and a very disappointing playoffs, you know, things happen, look at the Tampa Bay Lightning when they got swept by Colorado, right, they still went on to win a cup with that core, bad things happen in the playoffs, bad years happen, I I don't think Ehlers getting traded necessarily is the right move for this club right now to help fix the problems that are on the ice, you know? Move on from Pionk, maybe move on from some other guys, I, uh, you know, like, move on from Ayafalo, get some more youth in there. That was the biggest problem with speed down the line, you know? Like, I just, I just don't think trading Ehlers is going to make this team any better going into next year, and that's the thing I look at at this point, is trying to win a cup, and is Ehlers really going to make that much of a fetch, you know, for a team to really put the Jets over the edge, and I, I just don't know. So that's what it comes down to for me. Obviously, I'm biased because he's one of my favorite players, and I don't want him to see. I don't want to see them trade him. I don't because I think he's very good and very underutilized. We haven't even really talked about that in this video, but super underutilized, and he's never really flourished under bonus last couple of years. And even then, he still had fantastic years point wise. So, you know, imagine what he could do with a guy that actually gave him competent line mates that could keep up with him and you know cater the play of that line to Nikolai Ehlers instead of the opposite and of the center or whatnot. You know, so I just don't think you should trade Nikolai Ehlers. I'm going to be covering this and following this a lot over this summer. I don't think they should trade him. So to make sure to stay up to date this is by subscribing to uh, keep up to date with all things Jets hockey. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram, and we're going to keep watching this topic as it develops because I think trading Ehlers is a bad idea. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below as always. Peace and positivity as always. Go Jets go, and I'll see you guys in the next one.